get a food bag, you get a lot of ramen when you go through pantries. And I try to come up with different healthy recipes. So in last month, I did one where we actually cooked it in a, with a waffle iron and put some seasoning in it and it was really good. So I had a real treat for you this time and I left the iron at home. So on the fly, this is pantry cooking. We're gonna come up with a new recipe. So let me get everything out. So what I do is I heat my water up and then I just put the water, the ramen in and just let it soak so that it cooks itself. And because I thought of this while everything else was going on, there is no recipe, but you do have books so you can write down um, whatever. And I think I used about, I think I used four packs of the ramen. And normally I don't ever use the little packets. When I cook it in the, in the, in a press or in the waffle iron, I put just a little bit, less than half of a pack goes in for the seasoning. You don't need, because you don't have the water. So you don't need that much. And that's a lot of sodium. When you do your pinto beans, whether you use them from a can or you use them in a bag, from the bag fresh or dry, you want to make sure that they're cold when you get ready to use them. So just cook them and put them in for a while. And then I didn't get a chance to mix up all of the brew, so to speak, that's going to go on it. So we're going to do it together here. So I'm going to put in some pinto beans. Good way of getting your proteins in. Sometimes when it's hot, you don't want a lot of meat. You know, you just don't feel like eating that. So let's mix these together. This is a good cold meal. And what I'm showing you and how you do your, um, the little sauce that we're gonna make, you can do that just with the pinto beans. Just put a little bit of onion in there. Not too much. Okay. I like that. <laughs> so do it for your taste. That's the other thing. Onion. 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 Uh huh. I diced it. I am going to put in some diced tomatoes. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to mix a third and a cup of olive oil. And I have, this is white wine vinegar. There's a difference, and I did eight tablespoons in here. Cumin would be good, or not cumin, allspice would be good to add into this, but I didn't have any, and I couldn't find any in their pantry. So we'll skip that, and we'll just, we have um, lemon pepper. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of that in. And so one and a third cups of olive oil, eight tablespoons of um, the white wine vinegar, and probably about an eighth, I think I did more than an eighth of lemon pepper. And if you come enough, you know, my measurements aren't standard. <laughs> There's the metric system, the U.S. system, and then there's Najaya. So, pour some of this in and mix it a little. And 
and I can already tell it needs more onion. <laughs> yes. I have great old factories and it says it can't taste it yet. Did you say old factories? Yeah, old, old, old. <laughs> I wasn't on camera. <laughs> Let's put a little bit more onion in there. And they're diced very small, so you don't have to worry about biting into any big chunks. You can also use minced onion if you prefer to do that. So I'm going to start with some olive oil and the fire. So what I'm putting in here, I'm going to put in some onion. No, 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 that's probably about a quarter cup of olive oil. I have to thank Warrior Healing Center. Most of the food that you're getting today was provided by Warrior Healing Center. Because I said stuff, now these are very thin. Okay, these are very thin. It doesn't take them long to cook. Um, I cooked it last night, 425 for 15 minutes. And it didn't take long at all. You don't even have to slice it if you don't want. You could just scoop the sauce on top. And I didn't put any seasoning on it other than garlic when I cooked it. So I'm just gonna cut a slit. 